the morning, art and activism. I am Trayvon Martin, police accountability. All right. I love the arts. Third group Marshall. All right. Angela Davis. Algebra project. We're talking about race and racism in America. And we're going to talk about the role that the media plays in shielding the corruption and the racism in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. We're going to talk about Jane Miller. We're going to talk about Kai Jackson. We're going to talk about mainstream media and how they shield racism, how they shield corruption, how they part of the machine and part of the problem. You feel me? Y'all see me around town shutting the media down. I shut the media down because the media lied on me. The media mis misinformed the public. They knowingly lied to the public to shield the corruption and the racism behind the prison industry and mass incarceration and the money that y'all spending in the police department, the militarization of the police department. It's the art of getting money, all right? It's the art of getting money. State of Illinois versus Maryland, Dwayne Davis versus Maryland. I had a $54 million lawsuit, and that's what this was for, a $54 million lawsuit and a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit about your prison industry and mass incarceration. That's right. I broke your prison industry down, and I did it in a court of law. You feel me? All this is court record. They can't deny none of this. You feel me? This is the case where the Baltimore City Police came up in my house in 2010. This is the case that I won that y'all called me a terrorist. When you took my truck, you took my truck, my computer, eight years worth of videotapes, you took storyboards, you took material and property that belonged to me. That it was insured for over a million dollars. So we don't want everything in the eye of the public. Since y'all going after Mayor Pugh, well, let's go after all the corruption in, in, in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. Let's go after Scott Schellenberger. Because y'all just going after black people. Y'all ain't prosecuting no white people. It's like black people, only people that commit crimes here. No, Scott Schellenberger lied to the public. He called me a terrorist. He said that I had a bomb. That's against the law. And he stole my evidence and my property to expose Governor O'Malley and his play-to-play -play machine. And Mayor Pugh was on that, all right? McFadden was on it. Teller Branch was on it. John Cardin was on it. It's about your prison industry and the money you make behind the prison industry. You go right to Governor Hogan, all right? He got this Saturday and get that information, the Freedom of Information Act. We don't want no misunderstandings about nothing. You feel me? We want this open to the public, for the public to see. And to ensure the public sees it, Jane Miller got this this morning. You go straight to I-Team, go to Jane Miller and get the material that I sent Jane Miller. We're talking about corruption and racism. We're talking about corruption in Maryland. We're talking about the money. And we're going to show you where the money going. We're going to show you who getting the money. I'm going to expose you for who you is. And the I-Team, if you don't report it, that means you're part of the problem. You want to be part of the problem or the solution. Because I can show you where Jane Miller been doing this for 10 years or more. Like I say, Scott Schellenberger had this. This is from 2013. All right. I follow Replevin order. I follow Ritter Main Damons. I filed all kind of paperwork to get my property back. You feel me? But you won't give it back to me because if you get that property back to me, you got to acknowledge the fact that you stole evidence. You got to acknowledge the fact that you did something wrong. If you give me back my property, you're acknowledging that you committed a crime. You give me my property back, it's going to show you kidnapped me. It's going to show you you use your police department to... You use your police department to intimidate and threaten black people in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. I'm going to show the role that your police department play. Because like I said, I ain't scared of the police. I chased Chief Johnson out of City Hall. You ain't got a lot of people to do what I do. I do what I do because I got a right. I got a right to my freedom. And I'm going to stand for my freedom. And the police, you're here to serve and protect, not intimidate and threat. So Chief Johnson, you're not a police chief anymore. You can be criminally charged and sued. I can sue you 
I can sue you for kidnapping and participating in a fraud. I was insured. I was insured when Insurance Incorporated. And I was insured, the movie was insured. The movie was about the corruption and the racism in the court. It shows the role that the insurance companies plays in mass incarceration. Insurance Incorporated, State Farm Insurance, the Greater Baltimore Committee. It shows the money that you spend on the police department and policing the communities and the militarization of the communities. That's Al Redmer. That's Governor Hogan. You go straight to Governor Hogan. That's Governor Hogan and Al Redmer. Governor Hogan and Al Redmer. Governor Hogan and Al Redmer. That's Greg Bernstein, because I turned this corruption in back in 2011, and Greg Bernstein had this. I stopped Greg Bernstein in the Martin Luther King Day Parade and gave him this material in the parade. He got out the parade and took the evidence. It was all about Governor O'Malley and his machine. It was about the play-to-play -play machine he created. Tell a branch, Mary Washington, McIntosh, all of y'all that rode that gay wave instead of doing the mass incarceration? Yeah. Telebranch, Mary Washington, McIntosh, Conway, GOP Carter. Let's talk about the O'Malley machine and the corruption in the machine. Because right now, y'all just going after Mayor Pugh. I don't want, I want Mayor Pugh and I want 52 more. Mayor Pugh got this last year. So Mayor Pugh could have did something about this last year. Mayor Pugh been shielding the corruption, but now they're going after her. So Mayor Pugh going to snitch on y'all. When she come back, man, she ain't got a choice but to snitch. And if she go to court, I got evidence to send more than that to, to jail. You feel me? Mayor Pugh, show them all the information that we got. Show them the emails. Show them the, the phone records. Dr. Bundy. You go to Dr. Bundy. Get the emails from Dr. Bundy because Dr. Bundy is the, the go between between the mayor and me. And the program that Dr. Bundy running is my program. They stole that program. It's the shorty program. Now he claiming he doing black fellowship, black engagement, black. En no, no, no. You stole my program. You stole my program. Anthony McCarthy stole my program. I handed it Anthony McCarthy in two, uh, two years ago. And then you'd sit here and, and turn my program into the mayor's program. No. That's Shorty's program. The black male engagement program is my Shorty program. And you stole it from me. That's what I'm pissed with you about. You a thief. You stole more than money. You steal ideas. You steal situations. Now, what you going to do with Kwame Rose? Because, see, Kwame used to be an activist. And you hired Kwame Rose because you wanted to show that you're working with the community. Kwame Rose is not a voice in the community. He don't act for the community. Kwame Rose is an opportunist. That's why I call him my activist. We're gonna talk about the money that you gave leaders of a beautiful struggle and the money you've been giving legal leaders of a beautiful struggle since you became in office. We're gonna follow your money, and the money that you put in the community, and we're gonna show you the loyalty that you got. Like I said, federal investigation, Department of Justice, over a year ago, I asked them to investigate the Democratic Party, not just Mayor Pugh, the whole party. We want to see the money from the Greater Baltimore Committee and how it's spent in, the, in Baltimore City Council and the laws that they write in the City Council that the Greater Baltimore Committee puts out. Like I said, it's the militarization of your policing department. Johnny O asked for a federal investigation. Johnny O asked for a federal investigation. I'm the subject of the investigation. You feel me? Right here. See that? Department of Justice. Dwayne Shorty Davis. All right. That's February 2019. Jane Miller got that. Governor Hogan got that. This is Governor Hogan's letter. See the emails? 
Kiefer Mitchell got this. You see the emails? Read it. Can you read it? If you can't read it, contact Governor Hogan. He got this on Saturday. Tell Governor Hogan to show this to the public. Since he want to go after Pew and he want to clean up the corruption and he want to make all these statements about the delegate that used the N-word, well, let's address racism in the, in the Maryland politics. Just don't pick out, cherry pick people that you want to stick in line. Let's go after the whole thing. Let's shape the racism. Let's go after the corruption and the racism in the party. Let's do it all. The criminalization of poverty. You feel me? Let's do it all. I got 13 storyboards y'all took for me because it was 13 different movies, 13 different stories. One was all about the media. One was all about the politics. One was about the police department. One was about Governor O'Malley. One was about inmates and prisoners that are locked up illegally, incarcerated in America. And nobody wants to hold y'all accountable. Just like Dred Scott was the catalyst for the Civil War, I'm going to be the catalyst to end the war on drugs because my case was directly the war on drugs. I turned in guns and drugs to the police that end the war on drugs because the war on drugs ain't nothing but a war on the black community. It's a way to keep us incarcerated, to keep us enslaved. So I'm getting ready to hit the streets. I'm going downtown to City Hall and I'm gonna start my shit. Y'all can do two things. Either you do the investigation or you can charge me and lock me up. If you charge me and lock me up, I go to court anyway. You feel me? You're between a rock and a hard place and the mud and the dirt. And I'm gonna make sure that you do your job. I'm gonna show you how this poverty, criminalization of poverty works. You feel me? I'm gonna show you the militarization of our community. And I'm gonna make sure that Johnny O do his job. I'm gonna make sure that Al Repman does his job. I'm gonna make sure that Governor Hogan does his job. Because if they don't do their job, I got a movie coming out called Letters Design by Rob Fix. When the movie come out, it's all truth speaking to power. It's gonna be the most compelling movie in, in years since Roots. Because nobody ever attacked the courts. Nobody ever held the courts accountable. Nobody ever held the politicians accountable. You seen the 13th Amendment. You read the book, The New Face of Old Jim Crow. Well, imagine everything that you read in them books and that you seen is. Right here. The New Face of Old Jim Crow. That's the New Face of Old Jim Crow. That's the 13th Amendment. Remember the Corporation Alec in the 13th Amendment? Well, that Corporation Alec in the 13th Amendment is here in Maryland, and it's called the Greater Baltimore Committee. All right? It's called the Greater Baltimore Committee. Oh, my goodness. So you go to Jane Miller, and you get all my information from Jane Miller. When you see Jane Miller in the streets, if I catch her in the streets, if I catch Jane Miller in the streets, I am going to put this camera in her face and I'm going to ask her about this mail. I'm going to ask her and see if she opens her mouth. Then I'm going to ask her how long she's been knowing about this. Because, see, I've been giving Jane Miller information since the start of this. Jane Miller, y'all see me chase Stephen Janice out of taxpayers' night. Anybody that had anything to do with my incarceration, if I see you on the streets, I'm going to treat you. Call the police. Call whoever you want. Do whatever you got to do. I don't give a fuck about going to jail. You already locked me up. You already took everything I have. It's my turn. I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to publicly shame you. And then I'm going to take everything you got. All your awards that you've been getting over the last 30, 40 years, you're going to lose all your credibility, all your, your integrity that you claim you got. You have no integrity. The I team works for the political machine here in Maryland. Whoever is in power, that's who they work for. Right now, Hogan's in power, so that's who they're working for. When O'Malley was in power, they worked for O'Malley. We're going to check the I-team and see how much money goes to the I-team from Alec. You feel me? You got a problem with me? Holler at me. I ain't hard to find. I go to all of your public events. I shut your shit down because truth speak to power. When y'all had taxpayers tonight, I took that shit over. When I come into City Hall and holler my check, y'all shit y'all's draws. Baltimore City has a contract with the, with, the, with the Correctional Corporation. 
and they get paid to lock black people up. That's why Governor O'Malley had that stop and frisk and zero tolerance. That 650,000 people that got locked up, it was about the money. The criminalization of poverty, the militarization of our police department, the art of getting money. You feel me? So I want Governor Hogan and Al Repmer to handle their business. Johnny Oleski asked for a federal investigation. I'm the subject of the investigation. And I got plenty to talk about. I'm a whistleblower. And we're going to see what you're going to do with me. I'm coming. I want everything to belong to me. I'm out $2.6 million. I'm out a $54 million lawsuit. I'm out a $2.5 billion class action lawsuit. And I get to do it again. I get to refile it. And I, when I refile it, I'm going to check the numbers. I'm going to up the numbers. I'm going to break the bank. It's going to be a lawsuit, and it's going to be so, so political and so public, y'all ain't going to know what to do with me. You don't know what to do with me now. You can't control me. You can't buy me. And you can't shut me down. That's why they call them shut them down short. See, y'all, go and get my coffee at Starbucks, and I'm starting my shit. I'm going out to Towson and ask Schellenberger about my paperwork. I'm going out to Towson and put that toilet that I had at the art in front of the Towson courthouse today. I'm going to go spend a little time in Towson. Then I'm going to take the toilet down to the Inner Harbor, and we're going to start showing the tourists what being black in Baltimore is. Toilets and Tourism, 2019. Got a problem with me? Holler at me. I love the arts. Black Lives Matter. Stop racial killers. You know what I'm saying? I love the art. The art of protest. And I'm a professional. I'm the best of the best. You ain't beat me yet. I still got my crown. Remember that? Department of Justice, over a year ago, y'all want to go after Mayor Pugh? I want Mayor Pugh and the other 52, and we're going to go to the Department of Justice to get it. I want Mayor Pugh. I want Scott Schellenberger. I want Bobby Zirkin. I want all of y'all that got paid off of the prison industry and getting paid off the prison industry and getting that prison money. I want Cheryl Glenn. Because I'm tired of these black faces selling out our black communities for these white boys. Cheryl Glenn was up observing his ass so much last year, I thought they was fucking. And when I say what I say, I don't care. Do what you got to do. When you see me in public, confront me. Call me a liar. Because I'm going to pull your card. And I'm going to pull the green card out. Go to, go to the Department of Justice and see what I turned over to the Department of Justice. Go to the Department of Justice and see how many politicians is, is under investigation, are going to be under investigation. Y'all killing activists. And if you kill me, my death would not be in vain. If you kill me, I want all 52 of those people I named to be charged with my murder. If you kill me, the movie Letters Design going to be like the hottest shit in Hollywood. Killing me is no longer an option. Killing me is not an answer to your problem. This is the answer to your problem. 